Ready for round two? You gotta be it's kidding me. It's not lethal. Why? It's not <laughs> yeah! lethal? That's gotta, the excuse. It's at least three it, more turns on that clock. It's <laughs> not lethal. <laughs> oh, it's well then by all means, go right ahead. That's, that sounds like, listen, listen, it's gonna be a long game. You'll see. <laughs> Game's gotta end, right? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Why, it's Shuffle Up and Play! Aren't you glad you came here to shuffle up and play with us here today, Olivia? Certainly. Certainly. We are playing Build Your Own Precon Commander today. I have brought in two of my writers who have written and developed several of the Build Your Own Precon decks from Tularean Community College, as well as my own Build Your Own Precon, and Olivia has built her own Precon at home. Mm -hmm. And we are going to have a Build Your Own Precon battle. So who is with us here today and what did you bring? Hi, my name is Jesse Robkin. I'm a writer here on the channel and also writer, filmmaker. I uh, designed this Precon about a year ago, actually, called Spells Trouble, a spell singing Azorius <laughs> command. Yeah, and by the way, it will spell trouble for you all. Helmed by Raph, Weatherlight, Stalwart. So I'm gonna cast a bunch of spells, make a bunch of tokens, and tap them to draw cards. And then eventually, maybe if I'm lucky, I start pumping my creatures to swing in for big amounts of damage toward the end of the game. Uh, I actually played a Raph on this show, uh, the, pre the other Raph, and uh, did not go very well. So hopefully I get to avenge my previous Raph's death. I hope you get more than one mana this time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Bobby Christine, out here with the Lobby Christine, Magic Kids, and Birds of Paradise. Today I am playing Indominus Rex, my build your own precon I call Indominus Dollar Domination. And I like to imagine he's a little stinky. Uh, dinosaur has an enter the battlefield ability where I will discard cards with many keywords on them, put a ton of those keyword counters on the dinosaur and draw way too many cards. Uh, I'm Olivia Gober Hicks. I am a member of the Commander Rules Committee. I am a co-host of Commander at Home and Elder Dragon Hijinks and Prof keeps inviting me here for some unknown reason. I am playing uh, Ariette today. I've been bringing up for half a decade already. We go back to old podcast step. Remember when we tried to do a podcast? We did successfully do a podcast. It was great. Everyone disagreed with all of our takes. I know, it was the best, right? <laughs> that's, a Which, no, that's how we knew we yeah, were yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. It was a great episode. Did a great job. Yeah. So it's how do you like them apples? It's Ariette stuff, but cheap. <laughs> how do we like them apples? Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. I will also say that since I am here on quick notice, I also had a little bit of help building this. Uh, I was on a Discord call with German Gary Oak and we crafted this absolute nightmare together. Otherwise known as George. Yes. Otherwise known as George. We all know George here. I know, but I'm just, I'm yeah, giving that a little credit, bit of credit. Credit where credit's due. Credit where credit's due. Exactly. Well, my build your own pre-con, it is a universe's beyond of a universe's beyond. It is the master above all, a universe's beyond of the master transcendent, and I call this deck Master and Commander. That's pretty what good. Was with the bad Morse code, you just Th that's there. the ma the master is the that's the sound of drums. The drums are. It's the heartbeat of a time lord. Mm, God. It's also at the beginning of Doctor Who. Da 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 da. da. It's a heartbeat of a Time Lord. Doesn't anyone at this table watch Doctor Who? <sighs> yeah. No. My deck looks to thrill. My deck looks to mill. I am going to reanimate juicy targets out of my and possibly other people's graveyards while showing these students who the true professor is. Doctor Who's a dad show. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, all right, and I have been eliminated. Yeah. I have been eliminated, turn zero. Yeah. Oh my Best God. Dream ever. Yeah. Oh my God, Bobby Christine. With the dub. The dad wow. show. Oh, Are you gonna, he's gonna dab sometime too, you oh, know? No. Oh no, don't, Dad don't dab. dab, dab, dab. Dad, stop dabbing. Oh, no. <laughs> Shall we roll for high? Sure. I'd love to. All right, six. Oh, I bet I can do better than that. I bet you can. You did. I would have won that bet. All right, yeah. I'm rolling a seven. Well, would you want to? Nope. <laughs> you shot. Wouldn't you want to roll a seven? Hey guys. <laughs> nope. All right. Wow, a lot of. There you go. You, yeah. you won the bet. Mm -hmm. You won the bet. Statistically unlikely. Yeah. 
shall we shuffle up and play? Remember, in Commander, the first mulligan is free. Isn't that right, Rules Committee member it is. Olivia? Uh, the other fun part about Commander is that if you and your table decide to change the rules and modify them in a way that you all agree to, yeah. you can do that as well. Holy so yes. Cow. We have to submit our desired changes yeah, to the Yeah, there rules. is a form on so the website. You mail it to Olivia, mail it to Olivia. It takes six to 10 business days. <laughs> right. Six to 10 business days, we have the enforcement wing come out to your house and make sure all the cards are, you know, the way they're oh supposed my. to be and everything. And then, yeah, if you get the permit, then you can play however you'd like. All right, cool. So but now, is the enforcement wing the Pinkertons or is that somebody else? Oh, that's Watsy stuff, I don't know. Okay. We're not involved with that. <laughs> we are separate. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still say drawer? I say drawer. Yeah. Uh, I, you know. There's no R there. <laughs> drawer. I think I'm going to have to mull this. I'm, yep. I believe in the heart of my cards. Do you have land? Because I, I just remember another. I don't know where this came from. Another that was not episode. my fault. I got, was, I got Wheel of Fortune. You did get Wheel of Fortune. When I'd only played one, <laughs> one card. I, I would have mulliganed the Wheel of Fortune, but. All right. <laughs> I shall keep this hand. I'm happy with mine. I'm good. And who's going first? Jesse's going first. I am going Wait, first. does that mean I'm going last? This is where you always say we save the best for last. Well, no. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, if you're not first, you're last, so. No, uh, no. Oh, if you're not first, you could be second, you could be third. I'm I'm literally last. He doesn't yeah. know the reference. Yeah, you need to you need to watch Ricky Bobby. Is that the word from? Yeah. I, I, right. I, are they a Twitch streamer? Right? Yeah. They used to call me that, Ricky Bobby. Yeah. yeah. Bobby Boucher, Ricky Bobby. Wow. Bobby Hill. I have no <laughs> idea what's happening. <laughs> We, I haven't even played a card yet. We're already 10 steps ahead of you. <laughs> All right. All right. Did you remember to draw since Indeed. you're going first? I sometimes forget to do that, so yes. I like to help people out. Play my first land for turn. It's a Windbrisk Height. It's with Hideaway 4. Uh, if I attack with three creatures, then I get to cast a spell later on. You know what? This one looks pretty good. What is it? Uh, you don't get to know. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay. Do I get to know? This is a surprise <laughs> tool that will help us later. All right. It's like it's hidden away. Yeah. It's oh. hidden away. You should make me Come hide away that. with me. <laughs> uh, and that's my turn. Go ahead. Excellent. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll start with one of the most powerful cards in, in Magic. It's a command tower. <gasps> and I will pass. Wow. I will draw. I will play a Temple of Silence and scry. I'll leave that there. Pass. Wow. That was a really nice moment of silence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I just want the record to show that this card was not in my opening hand. Soul ring. I did not. It just drew it. You have now, to pay for it. I, I'm going to pay for it, but so are all of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boom. You know what I get to do now? Forest just actually enters that. the battlefield untapped. So, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm going to be milking this for all it's worth because milking, I think this is from Cowboys at Thunder Junction. Uh, milking, yeehaw, we're milking that bovine saddle up. Get your partner going here. And milkin it lets me tap to mill a card and add uh, a mana of any color. Or no, of no color. Of diamond. I get diamonds. <laughs> ah, there's diamonds in them dar hills. Do y'all want to go play a game in a desert? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> He's got this one. <laughs> He's on lock here. Just let him cook. Pass the turn. <laughs> We're cooking up some chili beans for uh, your cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna land cycle an Ash Barrens and then play the island that I get from it for turn, and that will be my turn. All right. We need to get you a hat. I have. Do I, we? I, I, <laughs> I used to collect hats. I was into men's haberdashery. Ooh. I, I just learned a new word. <laughs> I was, I was. I legitimately at one point owned uh, uh, like 15 hats. At least five Ooh. of them were fedoras, eh? Trilbies, Once derbies. There's a difference between a trilby and a fedora, you know. One sombrero. I'm I hoping. did not own a sombrero. All right. We will fix that. We'll get on that. Um, I'm going to play a well, I really, You think <laughs> I was joking about it no, being just, into hats? No, distinguish it. It's just so good. There is a difference between a chill... Uh, th there is a difference between a trilby and a fedora. There is a there is a difference. <laughs> well, actually... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Now you got on. We got there. We got there, Chad. Okay. <laughs> My turn is very simple. I'm going to play a Yavi Maya Coast, and we are chilling. I'll pass to you, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I knew this card was coming. All right, those are all spells. This is a land. It's a swamp. I will then pay two for an arcane signet. That's soul ring at home. Yes. <laughs> I gotta stop validating these. I'm so I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet, Pastor. What? Oh wow. Pastor. Already thinking of doing something mean to me. I see. I'm playing white black. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's all I know. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I want to tap. 
for a green. Green's still floating, but I'm gonna play my land for turn, which is a Demir Aqueduct. Return that forest mm -hmm. to my hand. Still got that green floating. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me to do with that floating green because I needed the black and blue from the Demir Aqueduct, and that's tapped. So I'm actually passing the turn. But let the record show, he did in fact float a green, which is the I optimal play. I did, yes. I did the thank you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jesse is our resident pro player, yeah. so yes. <laughs> Always float the green, even if you don't need anything to do with it, because mana burn no longer exists. Right. right. I will play a reliquary tower. Everyone's familiar with, I'm sure. But it's I Doctor Who reliquary tower. Oh yeah. It's just like my Doctor Who commander. Yeah, we're on the same. Yeah. We're on the same team here. Do you, you like Doctor Who? Are you into Doctor I Who? I don't mind it. You don't mind it. <laughs> You're not a Whovian. No, no, no. Certainly not. I spent um, ten minutes of one episode and clocked out forever. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't hang. <laughs> and I will play a poppet stitcher. It's a three mana, two, three, human wizard. And anytime I cast a spell, uh, I get to make a two, two black zombie creature token with decayed. Pay no attention to yeah. pop it behind the curtain. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. A lot of text on these cards. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that's all, my, that's all I got. Excellent. I'll untap upkeep and draw, play my island. I'll tap two and we'll simply get my rampant growth casted. I will find a land to put into play tapped. It will be a forest. And when that resolves, I'll pass to Olivia. Draw. Uh. I will play a swamp. I will kick off the festivities by tapping four and playing Archon of Sun's Grace. Three, four flying lifelink. Pegasi have lifelink and constellation. If an enchantment ETBs, I get a Pegasus. Two, two with flying. Nice. Pretty sweet. Pass. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I think now I can finally do something. Play that forest. A black, a blue, a green, and I'm gonna do one from the soul ring. I don't wanna waste milling myself just yet because I'm bringing in the master. So when the master, above all, enters the battlefield, target player gets two rad counters. Should I give them to Jesse? Should I give them to Bobby Christine? Should I give them to Olivia? No, I'm giving the rad counters to myself. What? That's right. That's because I want to be able to bring a creature that I mill into play next turn, and the rad counters will let me mill. So, I, actually, the best thing to do is to put them on myself. You might say these counters are radical. <laughs> I, I might, but remains to be seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're ratting yourself because you're toxic. Yeah. I, I'm not, no, I'm not, there not you toxic. Go. I'm not toxic. <laughs> that boy is toxic. <laughs> Yeah, I know that song. Oh my god. Yeah, he's. I adjusted it for myself. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just took ten points of psychic damage. Yeah. <laughs> I need more dice. Yeah. <laughs> I have ten poison counters. Yeah. Out, cool. Yeah. Well, then has with, removed you from the game. <laughs> with myself winning, I will pass the turn. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play a Solundi Vision on the backside, on the this land side, which is just a tapped island, basically. And then uh, it looked pretty fun when you did it. I'm going to go ahead and play my commander, mm. Raph Weatherlight Stalwart. And then I'll go ahead and, I guess, attack you for two. Ooh. Getting in there. Mm -hmm. I won't take it personally, not at all. But you will take two. I will take two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead. Ouchies. Okay, I'll start my turn. And draw. Oh, it's dino time. Okay. Oh, no, I hate dino time. <laughs> Same piece. You guys seen the movie. You've all seen yeah. the movies. My water bottle is shaking right now. <laughs> uh, I would love to put an Indominus Rex Alpha on this stack. And pass priority, because I don't, this is a dangerous card, and I'm, you know, if you do what you gotta do, looks like everyone's. Can scared. I can I counter with a <laughs> yeah. colorless mana? <laughs> Believe it or not, no force of wills in our colorless mana. mana. <laughs> I do not. Well then no. <laughs> Force of Will was not in our $45 budget, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think it was at the table budget, yeah. actually. <laughs> if we all pooled together, we can put like, we one, yeah. one, one single Force, force of Will. will. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna live the dream. As right. Indominus Rex enters the battlefield, I would discard a Wilson Refined Grizzly, and I would discard a Rankle Master of Pranks. I will discard two total creatures. That's gonna be a total of one, two, three, four, five keywords. Mm -hmm. Vigilance, reach, trample, flying, and haste. These are discarded and the Indominus Rex will get a vigilance, reach, trample, flying, and haste counter. Because that is five counters being put on the Indominus Rex, I will draw five cards. Wow. That seems normal. We're beyond now. <laughs> Yeah, I, okay. Well, I like it. it doesn't have, it, it, wait, it has yes, haste. it does. Haste it has haste. <laughs> oh my God. Um, you know, 
So, uh, Infinite Tokens? Not a sponsor, just a great way to keep track of five freaking <laughs> counters on your Jurassic <laughs> Park universes thing, thing. Infinite Tokens would... It's upside down. <laughs> would you say, Olivia, for Infinite Tokens, you should accept no substitutions? I would say that you should accept no substitutions. Accept no substitutions. Megan makes a good product. And she you should does. support her. Well, if not, you can. not a sponsor of this channel, just nope. a really cool person. Yeah. Link in the description. Yeah. It breaks my heart seeing them used for such evil purposes. And yet here we are. Yes. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vi, Re, and Tur. Boy, th that helps so much. I'm so glad. <laughs> you want me to spell that? No, it's no, chill. I got it. Yeah. 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 Fly hop. Tur. Tur. This is the magic <laughs> magic periodic table. There. Has, That's a little easier. Has, has, has been. Has been. Has been. Has been. Has been. Re <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Great. Beauteous, I do have haste. Brian, you did play a soul ring. I, 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 you I, did say you were going to be the punisher. Yeah. Yeah. So sure, just, let's swing at the prof first. Yeah, let's. It's like a big ring post, right? And I got yep. this ball and I just got to throw it right through that soul how, ring. How much damage? And attack you for six commander flying damage. Six Digits. commander flying. Well, I can't even, I can't even block with the master. So I take six commander and go down to 34. He's yeah. really more the master of the land. He can't, he's not really the master of the air. He's the master <laughs> of all. And you know, and if yet. I were on yet. the- <laughs> <laughs> And yet. And yet. <laughs> I see a dinosaur or flying over his head. <laughs> well, I'm a dinosaur, so I should be able to fly. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not how that works at all. Before I pass my turn, I will need to discard two cards. Let's go ahead and discard two swamps. Delightful. I am going to pretend to draw my card because I did it already. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. There we go. Commander Rules Committee cheats. Yep. There we go. Absolutely. Just trying to save people's time and someone wants to make content. Uh... You're gonna what, why are you? What, why is the first? I can look <laughs> anywhere I want. What to a, do? It is a free action. Look, to at look at what at the table. she's doing. I know. Look at what she's doing. Threat assessment. Uh -huh. I can. I have to assess everything to you do proper threat assessment. Start with the five keyword mechanic I'm flying gonna, dinosaur. I'm just gonna Stare right, right here the whole time. I've got a milk a a, a, a thing of milk. Milk ton. Got a milk ton. <laughs> Oh, that's, a, kind of, that's a long lost relative of mine, Milliken. <laughs> <laughs> we got Robkin, Milliken. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And then you got your dude bro buddy guy face over He's there. just, look, yeah, he's like just, leaning he's, on the no, deck. He's, he's vibing. Yeah. It's fine. It's, if they he's, do a Ninja Turtles uh, universe is beyond, would you like Raph? I'm... <laughs> pass. No, I know. I meant your statement, not my turn. Uh, I, heard, I heard pass the turn. You heard a lot of things in your age, I'm sure. What? What? I mean, we already have Leonardo coming. So. We do. <laughs> okay, so what if I help myself and not hurt you too much? Um, I like it. I like that. We can... like everything about this will remain virtually the same. <laughs> that means we're friends. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is something where I help myself okay. and don't necessarily hurt you in the process, but I still do something, and then he can't say I did nothing about the threat because I did it. I, I will. I'm emotionally prepared. It's really not as bad as you think it might be. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tap three, bring out Ariadne the Charmed Apple. So I get life on my end step for number of auras I control and my enchanted stuff can't hit me. I'm gonna tap this arcane signet and I'm gonna put clawing torment Ooh. on Mr. Rex. He has claws. So we just get minus one, minus one. Mm -hmm. And you lose a life on upkeep. He can't attack me, but you still have five power okay, to throw at these friends. Okay, okay, oh, no. okay. I like it, I like it. So we chill. Like yeah, 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 okay, cool. So if Ariat were removed, then the Rex could you come at talking, you. talking, and I'd like to finish my turn, actually. Oh, she's fine. So I cast an enchantment, so I'll get a 2-2 Pegasi. I do not have a Pegasus token. If only we had like will... tokens that you could write. write and, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, God, I wish we had a product that would do that. That would be so the useful. the damnedest thing. It'd be so helpful to have something <gasps> that could make a 2-2 two -two Pegasus. But I guess, you know, this infinite token will have to do. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. It's better than anything you'd come up with. Wow, all right, let's put that to the test. You're gonna draw a Pegasus? Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna draw a Pegasus and you're gonna see. Okay, well, you can't Pegasus see. Pegasus okay, better. so we have to do Pegasi and Who votes? We got two people at the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just remember who pays your paychecks. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. no pressure. I don't feel safe. <laughs> oh my God, no, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Here's, here's my. Uh, you do have a tail. What? Oh, 
Wait, did the special? <laughs> Surely. Don't hurt. Horse is a big whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Your noise is everything I need to hear out of that. Holy cow. All right, is there's, it colors? There's, 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 it, it is. Is it in pain? <laughs> it is. End me. It's smiling. Maybe it likes the pain. <laughs> that's Rakdos. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, I'm taking time with yeah. my I took time that's with good. mine. I'm sure it's a you competition. did. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. <laughs> Oh, I hope that thing never visits me. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna visit the board state. God damn it, that Whoa! does All right. <laughs> also, it's That's today. incredible. Thank you. Okay. Um, All right, everybody vote. It, if I, <laughs> everybody <laughs> vote at home. If I were you, I would have very quickly erased that and pretended you didn't draw anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, add, let's edit that entire segment out yeah. or, I'd be, or I'd be humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> would, uh, for the first time ever. For the yeah. first time ever. <laughs> by you. Yes, time. of course. That's it. I am. Wow. I was ready to vote. All right. Let's continue with the I'm, game. We don't I'm, need to even acknowledge. I'm feeling like emotional at the art. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's like really invoking really something. We brought something yeah. up. Beginning of my end step, I will gain one life. X is the number of ores I control. Y'all will lose one life. Ow. Oomph. Oomph. We all did noises. We now move to your uh, upkeep. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. All right, rad counters, ah. rad off. So I am going to mill two. I will lose a life for each non-land milled this way, but each non-land will get rid of a rad counter. Mm -hmm. But this is mill, and so ho, 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 we've got a fleet swallower, yum, yum, and a swamp. So one of my rad counters goes away. I lose a life, and gosh, this fleet swallower, it seems like a pretty good, when it attacks target player and mills half their library, round it up, I think, I'm gonna tap the master to bring Fleet Swallower into play. Now, Fleet Swallower is actually a 3-3, but it retains its ability. So the master, this is very on theme. I wish that we could put like the master's face on it because it's just like in the end of time. You remember the end of time part one? Uh, he used the uh, Vivendici uh, device to impose his genetic code upon the human race. And this was before Gallifrey was brought out of the time war. Anyway, so the... <laughs> Sorry, what were, you, what were you saying? Were there dinosaurs uh, at any point? Or? I'm sorry, I dissociated from yeah. that. What was that? Oh, man. I just had the best nap, though. I feel yeah. really refreshed. <laughs> I'm going to play a swamp. OK, but why is it 3 3? Uh, because of the master. May I? Yes. Yeah, I, until this moment, I did not know oh, what the master did. Oh, OK. <laughs> so the reason it's a 3 3 is because the master brings creatures that were milled into play under my control, but they become base mutants with power toughness 3-3, three, three, but again, they do retain their abilities, which is the cool part. Got it. And then, uh, gosh, gosh, gosh. We're gonna continue. I don't have enough ramp already. So let's, bit of a reach, Kadama's reach. Search my library for up to two basic lands. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a forest and an island. We will sure. put the forest into play tapped, the island into my hand. Since you have rad counters, is that, can we call that Brodama? Brodama. Wow. <laughs> Radical! I'll see you guys. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, leave a little bit of mana open, and I will pass the turn. Okie dokie. I'm gonna untap my stuff. Mm -hmm. You get to do that every turn. It's pretty wild. Yeah. What do you all think is like the scariest thing on the board? That's pretty scary. A th it's a 3-3. Three, three. I want to point out. Also it's a 3-3 three, three that makes half your library go away. Only half. This is scary. It can be politicked with. It can be politicked with. Yes, it's a very intelligent I, I, dinosaur. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say there's like I a just made, in his eyes. I just made the like, initial offer, but yeah. he, he can be reasoned with. What if we if we both politic, then there's only one, one place player to go. that it can go. I'm just uh, okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play a Clarion Spirit. That's a two-two for two. There are many of such cards in Magic. But whenever you cast your second spell each turn, create a one-one white creature token, spirit creature token with flying. I'm gonna go ahead and I, uh, as much as you enjoyed that shark, uh, I dis I disjoyed it. Is that it's the option? It's, it's not a shark, so your spell fizzles because you said shark oh. and it's a fish. Okay. So you said shark. All right. Well, that's my turn. Sharks, there, I guess. unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. Not according to Magic the Gathering cards. That's not a good taxonomic <laughs> structure, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast a Reality Shift targeting your uh, Fleet sw fleet Swallower. Mm -hmm. yes. Going to exile target creature, you manifest top card of your library, but before that happens, I get three triggers. Um, this is going to trigger, this, uh, this is my second spell, so I make a 1-1. One, one. Sure. I make a 2-2, two, two, and then I get to 
do wraps ability. So I'm going to uh, stack the triggers so that I make my tokens first and then the wrap trigger happens. So I have, I actually have tokens uh, as much as I would love to use infinity tokens. Oh, and I have a manifest for you. Oh, thank you. Wow. I think. Um, <laughs> Maybe. Welcome. So I make my 2-2 zombie with decay and my 1-1 spirit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap them to wrap to draw a card. Ooh. All right. You're raffing off. Yeah. Well, uh, now my manifest happens. Now you manifest. So I can look at this and I'll be able to cast this, whether it's any type of spell, anytime for its mana cost. Uh, Correct. I think it's only if it's a creature. creature. Only if it's a creature. So and you're not an... casting it, you're just turning it face up. So if it's an instant or sorcery, I'm effed. Correct. You also... If it's an instant or sorcery, you have a 2-2 manifest <laughs> creature. Manifest for the, for, the, for the kids at home. Write that down. That's information. <laughs> Write that down. Yeah. Write that down. Uh, yeah. yeah. For the kids at home, manifest is just cloak, uh, mm -hmm. but without the ward two. So I'm going to make an, play an island and then uh, pass the turn. Why Excellent. couldn't my fleet swallower have had ward two on it? That would have been bad for me. Can you imagine if Wizards of the Coast ever realizes it could put ward on a treasure token? Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> I would like to start my turn. Don't, don't leave that in. No. <laughs> don't give them free design ideas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no. It would be tapped, okay? They're learning the lessons. It would come into play tapped, though. <laughs> I will uh, tap, upkeep, and draw. We've got a lot of word counters. Yeah. You could have reality shifted my dinosaur, and you did not do yeah. such a thing. Yeah. And I will remember that. That's solidarity. This turn, I will remember this. Dino-verity. <laughs> Dino-verity. Dino On my yes. upkeep, Clawing Torment is going to hit me for one. Yes. Look at what Olivia did to you. 35 by small price to pay. What What was the politic here? You could have done something worse. Yes. Okay. You owe, I just want to be really clear. <laughs> you owe her nothing. <laughs> you owe her nothing. You and should, And you already attacked me with the dinosaur. You owe me and you don't know it too. I owe you and I don't know it. Mm -hmm. Do I owe you? Or no, fine? you're chill. Okay, great. Dear Brian, I'm so oh, sorry. I could have you ended. You gotta be kidding I me. could have ended I, your strategy. After <laughs> this turn, I will become politic immune and I will threat assess on my own. But for now, no. fair. ready for round two? You gotta be it's kidding me. It's not lethal. Why, it's not <laughs> yeah! lethal? That's gotta, the excuse. It's at least three it, more turns on that clock. It's <laughs> not lethal. <laughs> oh, it's, well then by all means, go right ahead. That sounds like, listen, listen, it's gonna be a long game, you'll see. <laughs> Game's gotta end, right? <laughs> You're not getting. Just do what you're gonna do. You're not getting fragged. Just, just do what you. I'd love really to go to. Really appreciate you having us out here um, for to play some magic, to have a good time. Anyway, you're gonna go to attack. Girl gang, girl uh, gang, girl <laughs> gang. <laughs> I'll go to my favorite combat step. We're gonna send this big stinky dino for five vigilant dinosaur power over to dear Brian. Does it fly? It, it sure does. does. My it's, manifest fly. It, it has looks fly. like it has fly. It looks like my manifest should be flying. It's like a ball I, of energy. So there was someone who once told me that reading the card explains the card. Is the word flying on it? <laughs> Take five. Yeah. Uh, it will be five, however, before damage. <laughs> I would love Sheesh. to continue to be a problem. I'm not changing the damage. It's me, hi. <laughs> well, if you're not changing the damage, then by all means, well, go there, ahead. Maybe there's other factors you should consider. I love drawing cards. I will cast a Hunter's Insight. Oh my gosh. Because I'm dealing five damage to you, I will draw five cards. This is a sweet card. Four no. and five. Let's have us a little cute post-combat. I'm not gonna take Aww. you next turn. I'll tell you that. It's How about that? <laughs> Have your post combat. The post combat. I, I can't has a little of post combat. Uh, I would <laughs> love to it's a tweet. It's a tweet. land per turn. Pay for my loyal Drake, and oh. that would leave me out of mana. Would have loved to cast this pre combat, but I just drew it off of my hunter's insight. So finished my game actions. I'll pass to you, Olivia. Got quite the board over I have there. Discord. Yeah. Oh yes. I, it seems like uh, a yes. game with you. <laughs> so so. Uh, Jesse Robkin, our resident <laughs> pro player, has assessed that uh, there's quite a board, quite a threat going over there. So let's all now move on and attack the professor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're finally understanding how magic works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so simple. Also, drawing the cards you need to win is how you win the game. Yes, yes, yes. I learned that from a pro player. You guys are welcome to banter while I assess what the hell I'm supposed to do. What kind of game. apples do you think Ariette makes? Glass ones. Oh. But probably Granny. I don't think those taste very good. Granny Smith because she's actually secretly old. Oh, Granny Smith, yeah. Just if you like look me. In, if you her look name in her, is Ariette Smith. If you look in her big mirror dish yeah. thing, her reflection that it, is also It's like a portrait of Dorian Gray. Correct. correct. Well, I've got the same thing too. I look, I imagined this young, but when I look in my magic mirror, it, mm -hmm. suddenly I look really old, mm -hmm. which is any mirror. You're so hip. I am hip. <laughs> and with it. You used to be, but then they changed what it, it was. What it was, yeah. <laughs> 
I was never with with it. No, (laughs) I'm going to be honest with you. I was never with it. I was always like this. mm. Amen. All right. I'm not going to. Yeah, I just will leave you alone. You wave, but I could end your entire career. But why would you do that? I just said I'm not going to. (laughs) I just got some guys. I'm going to cast Transcendent Envoy, which is a flying one, two, where aura spells cost one less to cast. Look at me go. It's also an enchantment. Triggers my friend Archon of Sun's Grace, so I get another horsey. Wow. Transcendent. Oh, we did it. Yeah. That's huge for us. <laughs> I, that was a big gift. Listen, <laughs> it's it's pretty powerful when you can just be like, I'm going to ignore whatever I was assigned <laughs> to what I feel is correct. Yeah. That's that's my that's my that's, my, my, that's... my actual, the actual name of my card is the Master Transcendent. Oh. No, I think the name of your card is the Master Above All. You, well, it, you that... revoked your allyship. <laughs> How does that, wait, that revokes my allyship? Yeah, I'm so sorry, Prof. But... Wow. She's uh, actually the arbiter of yeah, that. I, for... Literally transcending gender is yeah, just being, I, I, I'm too powerful, yeah. I'm sorry. I have John Sim to Michelle Gomez in the artwork. I literally have John Sim to Michelle Gomez in the artwork. And we all know what that means. Right. You should know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to tap a Swampy and play a Hateful Eidolon. That's me. Enchantment. Mm-hmm. It's very Theros. Channeling you in the deck. I, well, they just like <laughs> enchantments. Yeah. It has lifelink whenever an enchanted creature dies. I draw a card for each aura I control that was enchanted to it, which would right now only do that. But let's leave this friend alone. <laughs> and surely that's the only aura you'll ever have this game. You got it. That's an Archon of Sun's Grace, Pegasi. If it's a girl Pegasus, is it a Pegasus? I'll allow it. Yeah. I will tap this arcane signet for white. I will take my cost reduction and I will put chosen by Heliod on Ariette. I will draw a card and she'll get plus zero plus two. Mm. If it's a Pegasus that's playing uh, among us, it's a Pegasus. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Uh, that will trigger Archon of Sun's Grace. I will receive a fourth Pegasus. I will draw Ooh. a card from Heliod. All right, I think you've had enough Pegasi. Yeah. I think I'm pegasi out. I have a swamp. Up, and we all know that means I have darkness in hand. And also the card darkness. Correct. I will have- And also darkness in heart. Three, yeah, yeah, very much so. I will have three Pegasi that cannot attack. I have one that is able to do so. You can hit me, I don't You've received no love, I don't think. I've taken one damage from your commander earlier, but that's- That's fair. I'm going to tap you and make it two damage from sources I control at this moment in time. Cool. Uh, So I will have one Pegasi tapped. That puts me at 43. And then I will move to my end step at the beginning of it. You all will lose two, and I will gain two. Ouch. Oof. 35. 45. 25 for some reason. 33. Hey, I, 20, would like, I would like to know. You're 25 again, probably. Hey! <laughs> I would like to note I have not hurt you at all. You've hurt me emotionally. I can't help that. <laughs> you should toughen up. Wow. Just like my grade have, school teacher uh, said to me. I will help you find a great therapist, but I can't do much else outside of that. Uh, pass turn. <laughs> All right. Untap. Upkeep. Only professionals can deal with emotional damage. <laughs> Draw. Time to resolve my radical. <laughs> my radical means I mill a fraying sanity. Boy, hey. talk about uh, uh, very on target for this mm-hmm. game. I do lose my rad counter and go down to 24. All right, so don't have anything that I milled this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun. Well, finally. <laughs> <laughs> we just been sitting here putting yeah. cards on the, on the board. Ooh. I'm going to tap my Demir Aqueduct and Milken yeah. so that I can cast a battle Ooh. on Jesse, oh. the invasion of Amonkhet. Now, the Milken says that I mill a card, but the invasion of Amonkhet says all players mill three cards. Okay. And what's great is the master can actually get a creature from your graveyard if it was milled this turn. It has oh, to have been milled card. this turn. Yeah. So I've got a mill from the Milken. It's a land. And then I'm going to mill three from the invasion. A uh, Diluvian Primordial. That's okay. Dees. Uh, a Wise Mothman. Also pretty also cool. Dece. And a Hinterland Harbor. But let's see what else I might choose. All right, uh, I'm gonna mill three, so that's a splashy spellcaster. Splashy. Yeah, it's very splashy. Uh, wow, you're getting like all my creatures. A Good. drum bell lower. Yeah, that's uh, a buddy. And another creature. Wow, whispering wizards. I don't have very many creatures in my deck, so that was pretty impressive. Hits over here. We've got a opulent palace, a exponential growth, and a no creatures. It's a land. Uh, you're literally the creature deck. <laughs> uh, my mills are planes. Path of ancestry. Hope you didn't need lands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No critters. Let's go. And then. 
So now each opponent needs to discard a card. I'll discard a card <laughs> plus sleep shark. Tainted field. What does Tainted it field. Whoa. Yeah. God, <laughs> yeah. The tainted field. It's a rock song. That field is tainted. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> Vengeful Reaper. Unfortunately, the card you discard does not count as being milled, so the master can't Correct. target any of them. Oh, and then I get to draw a card. Woo, that's, I gotta read the card. That'll explain it. Oh, very interesting, very interesting. So, now I need to decide who the master is recruiting for the battle. I believe, out of all of these lovely pickings, that I still want something from my own graveyard, and it is the secret backup mm. commander, the wise Mothman. I guess we're really doing Fallout here. Mm. I could possibly do a Doctor Who universes beyond of this, but I, I don't have time to do that right now. Unfortunately, it does not have haste. Yeah. It is a 3-3, so it stays a 3-3. It's also flying, which is nice on this battlefield, and whenever the wise Mothman enters the battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rad counter, uh, so. Wait, no, that means we're all rad and you're not. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> red player. too. We're equally rad. <laughs> we're equally rad. I wish so. my eyes did that. Olivia, <laughs> radical. I know. Bobby Christine, radical. Oh, I'm finally cool. Jesse Robkin, radical. That's huge for me. And the professor, <laughs> radical. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pass the turn. Okie dokie, this board is scary. I will uh, draw a card, go ahead and mill something. Uh, and I milled in a spot, Ooh. Inspiring Leader, unfortunate. Trigger, since that was a non-land card that was milled, I get a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures where X is the number of non-land cards milled this way. I'm just going to put that on the Mothman. My guys would have gotten bigger, but this goes away. Mm -hmm. You also um, lose a life. And I uh, end up losing a life. Yeah. Radical. This rad life is not what it's cut out to be. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can I give this back to you? Or, well, I need well, to you again can't. Soon. You would need a card that says that you give a rad counter to a player. Okay, well. <laughs> you would need a card that says that. Cool. Uh, so I'll tap three mana and play Detective of the Month. As long as it has Ascend, it's a 2 3 human detective. And when you have the city's blessings, my detectives cannot be blocked. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag, yeah, too blessed to be blocked. Um, <laughs> and uh, whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 2 2 white and blue detective creature token. Jesse, oh. you have so many words. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Magic cards have so many I words. Know, these I know, days. I know. It takes yeah. 10 minutes is, to read everything. It is a Magic the Gathering game in current year. Um, yeah. <laughs> I will now play more things. I'm gonna play Recruit the Worthy for one white mana. It has buyback, I'm not using the buyback. It creates a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. It, it got some triggers, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna stack them uh, in the way that this will resolve last. So first, I uh, get a 2-2, two, two, another 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna tap my zombies mm -hmm. uh, to draw a card, and then I am going to, because I drew a second card this turn, create a 2-2 two, two detective token. Two Look at him. Two he's detective, little, two furious. Two, yes, exactly. And he's got a little hat, as all the creatures from this plane do. <laughs> the type of hat um, is a fedora. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's right, you are so right about that. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, I believe that's all my triggers, then I make a 1-1 one, one soldier. Because why not? Here we go. And then I will play a Myriad Landscape tapped. And I think that's certainly not attacking anybody. Um, I'll pass the turn. I will hmm. untap up, keep draw. I said I was going for frags. I don't have it in me to attack you a third time. I don't. It's not in what? my soul. He's not dead. It's okay. <laughs> I know. That just puts him at 16 commander damage. That's not enough. A mere 16. A mere 16. <laughs> I don't have any mirror. Do you remember play. when you were oh, 16? Boy. I don't want to be. Protected. I do remember when I was it's 16. Recorded it's recorded in stone I, tablets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember when I was 16. It was when I learned how to play Magic the Gathering. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here we are. On my upkeep, the Clawing Torment will hit me for one. Sorry. And after oh, I uh, <laughs> draw my card, I'll go to my main step where I'll have radiation. I'll mill one. It is a non land, so this stays. Mm -hmm. And I don't take one. You don't lose a life. You got it. And my Mothman does not trigger. Excellent. I think what I would love to do is set this aside for no specific purpose. Mm. Uh, I'll play my that. land for a turn. And does anything I do affect combat? I don't I don't believe so. So we'll go straight to combat. I will have a lieutenant trigger. I'll draw a card with my loyal Drake. And uh, Jesse, you took so many game actions. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's Numer so many, really? <laughs> Numerous game actions. Look at, look at this thing here. Look at that. Um, there are one ones and two twos. They're hanging out. I would love to go to combat. I got my draw. Uh, lots of game actions. I'm so proud of you. You're amazing. Thank I'm going to attack you. It doesn't feel like you're proud of me. <laughs> With this um, five power dinosaur. She's sending you adversity because she knows you can handle it. I, <laughs> I, 
is, I think, oh, okay. what you're trying to say. I, I've been sending off the wrong signals then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll take five commander damage. Yep. I go to 29. Everyone gets a chomp, by the way. Just You just physically ready. cannot chomp right now. <laughs> Post-combat. <laughs> I, we be chomping. I really like overextending, and I think I'm going to do that right now because I drew this card, I put it in the deck, and I'm going to cast it. I will put Command the Dreadheart on the stack. Word. <laughs> this many critters. Come on, blue player. I Where's your this counter? This many. A pass priority. Somewhere in here. Come in. Okay. <laughs> I will also pass priority. Okay. Uh, I will pass priority. Oh my gosh! I can get the card in your deck. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh no. Okay. Let's be overextend, but not too much. I, I'll pick my grave. I guess I could have done this before combat as well. Who needs it? As I cast this, I have to choose. So I will choose a ranky. Master of Pranky, a Vengeful Reaper. Ooh, that Diluvian Mortal State. It is right there. Wait, wait, right you're going there. after my Diluvian? I think I'll leave it alone. I I think mean, why not? You should. No. You should take it. <laughs> you should definitely do it. Also, I have a bunch of creatures here if you're interested. I am very interested. Because, Nancy, because uh, on our menu tonight, we have uh, Splashy Spellcaster, yep. Drum Beller, Ooh, Bellower, yeah. Chrome Host Seed Shark, and a Whispering Wizard. Those are my those are my options. I would for you. love that drum bell or because there's also the Diluvian and you could get around with it and try that. All right, I choose Diluvian. <laughs> All right. There's oh, no. a generous gifty. Uh, okay. Diluvian Primordial, Drum Bellower, uh, yeah, Vengeful Reaper, that's and Rainbow Master. That's Masterparts. quite a bit of life you're paying oh, in there, gosh. friend. Oh gosh. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and I will lose four eight by six. Eight is plus six. seven. Seven, is ten, eighteen. Yeah, I'll 18 wait. life. You're gonna lose 18 life? I'm yeah! <laughs> Risk it, biscuit! All right. This is gonna send me what, to Port Again, health. what are we doing if we're not going for it? I'm so alive right now. Okay. <laughs> girl boss behavior. Yes! Woo. Okay. Guess like gatekeep girl yeah. boss. <laughs> my beautiful board. I'm so proud of it. Diluvian Primordial <laughs> into the battle. I'm so proud of all of these cards I stole. Yeah. <laughs> you earned them. Yeah! Okay. Um, if... Uh, do I... I will Diluvian Primordial for each opponent. Oh my goodness gracious. So we'll Take have- a look at my graveyard There's again. <laughs> Excellent. I would love to have a gift, what do you generous got over gift. There? All you can get from me is a little bit of reach. I love it. Oh, I Basically, I could signal boost you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could command again, but there was no reason to do that. Yeah. Um, so let's go right ahead. And from each graveyard, I would have a reality shift from Jesse. A generous gift mm -hmm. from Olivia, a come to almost reach from Brian, and a rampant growth from Spicy. myself. Wow, that's mad ramp. That's that's much rampage. Let's knock out rampant the ramp. ramp. I'll do these both at once if that's all right. Yes, uh, we'll yeah. allow it. That's rampant yours. growth, Kodoma's reach, two basics tapped, one to hand. We'll do a forest. They're in here somewhere. That's a spicy meatball there. I'm feeling pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'll put a basic to hand. And with the ramp out of the way, I have two removal spells. Let's start with reality shift. Reality shift from uh, uh, Jesse is going to target the Archon of Sun's Grace. Yep. And generous gift is going to target Clawing Torment. Copy that. Okay, uh, post activities that I have <laughs> partaken in, I believe I'm out of actions. And with that in mind, I will pass the turn. Okay, untap up, keep draw. Did my draw. Radiation. I keep it, lose no life. No creature. No creature. What you doing with that? I'm doing absolutely nothing, apparently, <laughs> with fair. that. Yeah, fair, not fair, doing fair, much fair. with that. I'm tapping my creatures to draw cards. Okay, okay. But my life total, it's so low. <laughs> yeah, but who's responsible for that? It's true. This is all a lot. So for three, I will play Sage's Reverie on Ariette. Sage's Reverie, ETBs, I draw a card for each aura I control. It's attached to Ariette, that will be two. She'll get plus two for this because my other enchantment dropped off because someone's rude. So I'll draw my two cards. The cards are the rude ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blame the cards. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing there? I dropped one. I believe if you drop the cards out of the game, you can't have it back. Yeah, that's that's extra exile. Yeah. <laughs> I will then play a land for turn. Oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> Curses. Only things were different. I know, right? Then they'd be so different. Um. Okay. 
<laughs> you, you've literally gotta, the only board I can interact you've with. You've gotta be Urza. I'm kidding me, Olivia. <laughs> I do not. I'm in fact not kidding. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. what are we doing if not going for it? I'll send four two twos at Bobby Christine in the air. Interesting. My life total is 14. Yes. I got a chomper. It could, it could be six, or you could risk it for aforementioned biscuit and take the eight. I sit on it, and then you've got all this. I had a biscuit this morning. I know. So, so I want you. a second one. All right. Four two twos. In That's theory, stuff. these Toughness creatures, Deluvian, Rankle, Vengeful Reaper, and Indominus are in theory tough enough to block these four Pegasi. Sure. So I will declare each one to block one Pegasi. Great. Tricks? Tough. No tricks. No Only tricks. treats. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your bluff got called. I thought you had something. I feel powerful. <laughs> don't say I didn't do anything. I, I I never said that. I said don't attack me for no reason. Mm -hmm. That's all I've ever said. What are, you, are you gonna do something about this as best you can? Uh, that's my goal. Okay. That's my goal. All right, during your, are you moving to your end step I'm or something? I'm still in my second main. I thought you were doing something right now. I'm gonna do it in your end step. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're in your end step. I'll go to my end step. Okay, now that you're in your end step, I had hoped, the reason I didn't do this sooner is I had hoped my Mothman would get bigger, but I'm tapping five. I'm gonna return of the wild speaker so that I can draw cards equal to the greatest power among sure. non-human creatures I control, which is only four, unfortunately, but one. Yeah, four cards, two, oh no. Three, four, I know. I wished it, I wished it was a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so untap. Ah, ah. End step. Oh. The rest of the end step. Lose two, I gain two. Me too? Yes. Oh. All opponents. Ooh. Yo, I'm at 12 life. I, I'm doing my best, <laughs> okay? The best removal is player removal. Thank you. Untap. There we go. Upkeep, draw, and then my radical resolves. And so I'm going to mill one. Hey, it's a land. Boo, I wanted to mill a creature. But there's <laughs> other ways that we can do that, I isn't like there? Got a, a I got a lot of cards You now. got a system. I got a lot of cards. All right. Do we agree Bobby Christine's the threat? Yeah. Okay, That's cool. why I put her at 12. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to do some things. I'm going to play an island. We're going to do double black plus blue. Nothing good ever happens at double black. One from the Milken, two from the Soul Ring, for a Dreadhound. When Dreadhound enters the battlefield, mill three cards. Whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from a library, each opponent loses one life. Now, oh I believe my mill off of the Milkin will actually resolve before the Dreadhound hits the battlefield, so that won't get, that's nah, just an island anyway. <laughs> uh, so, but now I'm going to mill three. Mm -hmm. One, it's a Breach the Multiverse. Not a creature. Two, it's Didn't Say Please. And three, it's old stick fingers. <laughs> That's the worst sound I've ever heard. I've got worse. <laughs> so I've got a trigger off of old stick fingers from the Dreadhound. Each opponent loses one life. Oh, 46. Gosh. I'm sweating. Now my Mothman triggers and I get to put a plus one, plus one counter on up to three creatures. I'm going to put that on the Mothman. I would like a counter on my manifest and a counter on the master. And then I want to keep going. Mm. Double green. I'm going to Aftermath Analyst. Aftermath Analyst. It was hated. Mm. <laughs> it was hated. That's the after. That's the analysis of Aftermath. Oh, oh, that was dumb. That was not dumb. That was Ro Rosewater said it was hated. <laughs> he literally just answered a, a, a vlog question on Aftermath Wasn't with Aftermath like 16 years ago. No, it's we're, like... We're onto a, another set. They've already previewed something right now. Yes, they've previewed three sets since we started filming That's this game. That's what I mean. In so. a year, we'll have the Vault Analyst. 1-3, when Aftermath Analyst enters the battlefield, mill three cards. I can also sack it to return all land cards from my graveyard to the battlefield tap. It's pretty cool. That's actually sick, yeah. Kolgari Charm 1. Hey, it's Raul, a troubleshooter. Every opponent is going to lose a life. 45. Woo! Oh. Garuda! Wow. Garuda! Rude Garud. All right. So every opponent also loses a life there. Yeah. Okay. My Mothman also triggers again, and I can put a plus one, plus one counter on up to three creatures. I'm packing them up on the Mothman. I definitely want to keep getting this manifest bigger. And I think the Dread Horde, you know, let's, let's put some on the Dread Horde now, spread it around. I would like to put Garuda into play. What a surprise. So it's a 3-3, three, three, but each uh, a player is going to have to put the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. No hits. No hits. All right. Uh, oh, there's an even cost of creature. Cool. Uh, yeah, you got Murmuring Mystic. 
Cool. Yeah, that's some, that's pretty neat. Some spicy spells. All right, Bob Christine, you got some good stuff for me. Drama's Reach, Leyland, Prowler, Odd, Vashta, Narada, and Odd. No evens. Okay, but there were creatures. Two creatures. Okay. No, no critters for me. Already? All right, and, and then mine know. is the no. Mimeoplasm. All right. Unfortunately, that is odd. Uh, Sidisi, Brood Tyrant. That that's even. even. Uh, something Tyvar, oh. Jubilant Brawler. That's a Planeswalker. And Woodland Cemetery. So, out of those, which one do I want? The Murmuring Mystic? No, I think I want. I think I want Sidisi. Sidisi's pretty dees. Sidisi's <laughs> nuts. For each creature Zero that was put into a graveyard from uh, a library, God. each opponent loses one life. So the total number of that for Garuda. Combined? Oh God. How many do you, you had? I'll take five total because I had two. So yeah. One, two, two, two. Three. Okay, and I have right. So you all lose five. All right, down to 39. So I can actually put a plus one, plus one counter on up to 12 permanents thanks to Garuda and Mothman interacting here. I don't have 12 permanents. So I'm just gonna put a plus one, plus one counter on all of my creatures at this point. Boom. Sidisi. <laughs> there it is. When Sidisi Brood Tyrant enters the battlefield, mill three cards, also when attacks. Whenever one or more creature cards are put into your graveyard from the library, create a two, two black zombie creature token. So now here we're going again. One, it's a swamp. Two, it's factor fiction. Oh man. Three, it's a command tower. Finally, the train ends. Mothman triggers. I'll just put a plus one, plus one counter on Sidisi. Wow, everyone, you've heard of popping off. I guess that was profing off, am I right? It was profing off there. I wish prof was off. <laughs> I'm attacking Jesse. Okay. <laughs> Jesse, I'm coming at you with the Mothman at and. Near the battle. Ah. I don't know, you're gonna block if I go for the battle? I'm gonna block either way. I'm you're gonna curious. block either way? What are you at life total wise? 19, I think. 19, I don't even care about that battle. I'm coming at you right now. When it attacks, Mothman triggers and radical, everyone gets radiation. I want you out of here. So that's a five five. Because you didn't laugh at my prof and off thing. All right, well, I will uh, block the flyer cre flying creature with one of my spirits and this guy with my soldier token. All right. Uh, when they die, I get a trigger off of Dreadhound. Yes, that's two. Each, each opponent loses a life twice. Ooh, I could wait. What? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna kill Bobby <laughs> Christine here. <laughs> okay. I should have actually sent more things at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I could have game blocked just to kill you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so everybody lost uh, one life twice. So yeah. Okay. I actually want to propose we keep Bobby Christine alive. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not actually <laughs> doing to knock out yes. prop with commander damage and yes. then we'll and then. <laughs> Ah. Expendable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm certainly not attacking on my turn. So right. <laughs> Move to second main phase. Okay. I only have you an have... island. Move to discard because I have eight cards in hand. Oh, I that's so scary. Much. Yeah, yeah. That's that's cool. I'll just go ahead and discard this fetid pools. Okay. Okay. Go to you. All right. I will untap my You're doing okay with small <laughs> but sturdy <laughs> army. On my upkeep, I definitely control three or more creature tokens, so I may transform Papa Stitcher, but I'm gonna keep it as is because I wanna keep making zombies. I will uh, draw my card. My radiation will trigger. So I mill one. Oh, I don't know if I lose it yet. Uh, milled a land. Um, so you I are still damage, radical. I'm still radical, wow. Yeah, wow. I'm still with it. You're still with it. Yeah! Let's see, what do I wanna do here? Okay, so Jesse, if you send little creatures at me that I block and die, we can eliminate Bobby Christine right now. Wow, that's such a kind offer. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, I will probably not do that. No? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got some, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. Wait, you have the city's blessing. Hashtag I, I what? Had There's it, yeah. definitely had 10 it. perms yeah. on there, yeah. Um, yeah, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 12, 14. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. And once you get it, you keep it. Yeah, yep. you can't be unblessed. Yeah. That's, that, seems, that seems like a design mistake. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I will move to combat. Yes. I'm gonna combat with you. All right. And I'm going yes. to attack you with a flyer and two unblockable detectives. All right, uh, total damage. Uh, that'll be five damage on you. All right, I take five damage. I'm going to tap uh, five lands, two colorless lands, uh, but using, leaving a blue and a white floating. Sure. I will cast Frantic Search. Okay. I've got some triggers. So first up, I get a two, two, that's it. So I get a, another zombie and then I get to trigger Raph. I'm gonna tap two zombies to the Raph. Uh, and then I get another one that's untapped. So I'll draw a card from the Raph. Sure. Uh, when I draw that card, I then make a detective. And then now I'll resolve Frantic Search. So I'm gonna draw two cards. Then I'll discard two cards. I guess I'll discard this one and this one. And then I will untap three lands. So I'm untapping my heights and this. So I've essentially filtered this colorless mana into colored mana. Sure. Then I'm going to play a 
land. I'm gonna use the white mana I have floating okay. to, to activate Wind Brisk Heights. I attack with three creatures this turn. I get to um, cast my hideaway card. And it is a Docent of Perfection. Yeah. Uh, what is that? It's Heck a, yeah. It's a five, four insect horror for five. Not that that matters. So I cast it for essentially free. And whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I make a human wizard token. And then if I control three or more wizards, which I will, will it will transform. Whoa. So let's see if I have any more instants or sorceries. And you still have one blue up too. Yes, I still have yeah. one blue up. Thank you. I guess I'll go ahead and his cast. face is just looking at his board like. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to do. <laughs> You're uh, just trying to parse what this means for you. Yes. I'm yes. gonna go ahead and use the one blue. Yeah. And three to cast Learn From the Past. Target player shuffles their graveyard into their library and then you draw a card. Ooh. However, Ooh. before that happens, again, I have many triggers. Yes. I've got, first, this is my second spell for turn. I make a 1-1. One, one. 45 bucks. <laughs> yeah, not bad for 45 this is, bucks. This is a party for under $150. <laughs> yes. Uh, and boy, does this spell trouble for you all. Yeah. <laughs> she said the thing. I said, I said it. <laughs> she said the okay. name of the deck. Okay, so triggers in order. I'm gonna make uh, a spirit token sure. untapped. I'm gonna make a, another zombie, so that, that replaces one. So I'll have two zombies here. I make a 1-1 one, one wizard, and this will flip and transform sure. into, I don't even know what it's called. Final iteration. Oh, by the way, for those uh, who don't know, this is the evolution of Delver of Secrets. It like slowly gets bigger as things yes. go on. So it's um, Jeff Goldblum still. It's, yeah, this yeah. is this is now Jeff Goldblum in his final form, which is final iteration. It's a six-five Eldrazi insect. <gasps> Wizards that control get plus two plus one and have flying, and then I still wow. get the, the whenever I cast an instant sorcery put up. Too bad you already attacked this turn. Yeah, it's such a shame. If only I would get another turn eventually in this game, then it would be really good for me. <laughs> okay, so that happened. I think that's all my token makers. So then I'm gonna use Raph to tap my zombies to draw another card. Sure. Whoosh. And then this resolves. I shuffle my graveyard in my library. I'll draw a card and that will be my turn. All right. Just that. Let's that's see it. what you draw. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Just in case. I'm alive. Shuffle. You're, you're alive. alive for now. Yeah. And you're welcome back for that, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so I will draw my card from Learn From the Past. That'll be my turn. Excellent, okay. That's it. All right. Untap, Untap. upkeep. Upkeep, oh Lord. I have two life, I will draw a card, I will go to my main step where I will be radiated. Radical step, radical Ooh. step. This is the most radical thing that's ever happened to me. Here we go. That's the forest. Woo! She lives. Hey! Hey! Wow! Nice. A sturdy one, two life. One more turn. <laughs> okay. Now, but you still have the two rad kills. Those Again. will, yep. you will die of radiation poisoning eventually. <laughs> Won't we all? Yes. I the slow heat death of yeah. the universe comes for us all. <laughs> it's true. I know. I will assume this is my last turn. That's completely reasonable. So with that in mind, let's slam down some cards. First, I would love to cast Archpriest of Shadows. Holy cow. As Archpriest of Shadows enters the battlefield, she's backup, and the backup would put a counter on Indominus Rex. Now that Indominus Rex has this counter for this turn, Indominus Rex has death touch Love and that. deal combat damage, return a creature from my graveyard. Has death mana. touch. Love that for Rex. I'm death and, oh, I don't have death touch, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and with that done, I believe. And that means that uh, <laughs> trample, death touch and trample interact really well. So now they sure do. Like Whoa. you're gonna deal extra damage. <laughs> if you, if okay, you okay, down. okay. With this all done, I will cast my Gurmag Swiftwing. <laughs> Again, Ooh, you can't make up cards. <laughs> Grimag Angler, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> this is a one-two flying first strike haste. Who's and y'all scared? Y'all scared? I can tell. Let's. I'm chill, honestly. Go to combat. Yeah, he has no flying blockers. Oh Everything god, you, it, flying. It, it, bring it. Let's. You can't do me seventeen. Can you do me seventeen? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A lot what? of flyers. What? What? A lot of flyers. That, wait, that's Let's all flying? Oh, yes, every one of them. 21 flying damage. Holy cow. Oh, God. Do it. <laughs> Live the dream. Do it. Right. Just, you're, gonna, no, you're gonna stay alive for, with radiation poisoning just long enough to knock out I the just, I just wanna, I just wanna clarify something. Yes. Judge, do the radical counters stay even if I get knocked out of the game? 10. A whole minutes later. So you will still die by my hand. That's what I said, <laughs> but you get to have the vengeance and watch him die first. What a poetic end. Exactly. So It's just like the end of Gladiator. <laughs> oh, it's your Brian. I, I will get you with that rad counter yet, so I'm fine. As I move to combat, I will draw a card with my loyal Drake, and then I will declare my full send at the professor. Okay, okay, okay. I declared attacks. All of them are coming. This has vigilance. 
Attack triggers are non-existent. I pass priority. All right, I'm going to tap. I a... will also pass priority. <laughs> I'm going to tap a blue for a fog. No, <laughs> that doesn't work that way. Very well, Bobby Christine. Oh, no! <laughs> it seems the student has become the master. The professor. All right. <laughs> I will still get you from beyond the grave. Yes, yes, yes. That was, all right. Please don't tamper. Oh, yeah, yeah, There's right, still a game right. going on. I yeah, guess the game continues even when I'm Please don't I'll tamper with my memory. checks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but in addition to taking you to the grave with me, I'm also taking my Diluvian I'm back. I'm, I am going to miss it. Yoink. <laughs> my Archpriest of Shadow has given my Indominus Rex an ability, so when I deal a damage with Indominus Rex, I would love to reanimate my Leyline Prowler. All right. Some lifelink. Ooh. And my too next- A little too late. <laughs> <laughs> Got a combat damage trigger on Rankle. Here's what I could do. I would love to risk that biscuit. So let's do all three- Are you no losing way. a life Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we will all discard a card. Yeah. Okay. After that, we will all lose a life. Discard and planes? Our, I'm sorry. Yes, all of us will then lose a life and draw a card. Uh, I'll go down, to one. Down to 36. And I will draw, and then all of us must sacrifice a creature. I will sacrifice my Gurmag Swift Swing. Sure. Uh, discard a planes, launch the manifest, and draw a crad. I'm gonna discard my Baral, Chief of Compliance, draw a card, lose a life, down to 16. And then I'll sack, I'm just gonna go ahead and sack this zombie token, who needs it? Speaking of things you don't need. Don't oh yes, and I'm so sorry. You, I, you know, I had a whole bit Around this, I had a whole bit I was gonna do, but please, by all means. Say it, I do, your, do no, the No, 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 that's fine. No, I had a funny that's bit. That's true, he's I dead, we don't want I had a funny bit. We need bit. something to remember you by. <laughs> oh, dearly, dearly, <laughs> departed, dearly prof, departed prof. We all tolerated his bits. Uh, and <laughs> Tolerate is so generous. And uh, I am Magic <laughs> the Gathering's number one most tolerated content yeah. creator. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like, people are like, yeah, we put up with the prof. I right, continue with your game. Okay. I'm rooting, I, I'm, I, Thanks I'm for having this over. Yeah, yeah it's I'm, been fun. <laughs> I don't know who I'm rooting for at this point. <laughs> I believe after Rankle's combat damage triggers, I don't have anything after that. Post combat, just gonna sit pretty at this one health and pass to pretty Olivia. Okay. You're sitting beautiful at that one health, may I say? I'm <laughs> killing it right now. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Keep yeah. We'll share an upkeep trigger. Sure. Bop, bop, bop. Rad counters. Land. Spirit Link. I will lose a counter. And a life. Lose a life. <laughs> the prof still hits him from beyond the grave. Kind of, I'm at 30. Radiation will do that too, yeah? yeah? Radical. Pay three to curse Bobby Christine. Oh, beautiful. The curse of restless. Curse life. you, Bobby Christine. <laughs> yes. That's how I feel. <laughs> curse is whenever I land ETB's under your control, I get a zombie. It I'll see what matter. I can do for you. It won't matter. Okay. <laughs> Insult to injury. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, God, I could actually just get rid of it just because I felt like it. I just let you die. Maybe I do. I have, I don't, do I, I have I, IDK? I don't know. My soul's ready. I mean, I do want to play this card anyway, so maybe I do. <laughs> just because it's fun. Hit us. Actually, that costs one less because Transcendent oh, yeah. Envoy still exists. Excellent. Go figure. I wish this worked because you're the enchanted creature. However, <laughs> I think for the rules yeah. of magic, it's not going <laughs> to work. Bobby and I don't Christine get to. hits the graveyard. <sighs> I'm so nervous. So close. <laughs> so close. I guess I will just play out Lauren of the Third Path. I was going to use that on Profs, but yeah. yeah. E even dead, it's like, I wish I could hit prof. I wish I could use this on prof. I, yeah. Uh, and I'm so sorry, but uh, not that, you know, I mind you having that, but I just want another trigger. I'm gonna go ahead and sternly scold that Lauren of the Third Path. So it counters target creature yeah. with power or toughness two or less, which gives me triggers. Oh my God. Oh no. uh, okay, so um, another zombie, uh, another wizard. And I think that's everything, but then I'm gonna tap uh, a zombie Whoa. and a detective to wrap to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Cool. That's all I got. On okay. That. It was just fun to spite you, but I feel cursed. I'm gonna move to my end step. Okay. <laughs> How much damage would you take? I'm going to gain three life, oh, and you'll both lose three life. Whoa! Whoa! Well, wait, I forgot this was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. go In response. Oh. Real quick. I'll cast Tamio safekeeping, and I will gain two life targeting Indominus Rex. Okay, it's not enough. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. You'll still <laughs> lose a life. <laughs> you'll still lose a life to do it. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm very dead. Tried so hard. I got my work cut out for me, but I got a big board. Why right. weren't we attacking Olivia? <laughs> Why were we attacking the prophet? They were in my ears. Why were we attacking the prophet? <laughs> that comes later. 
Cause I was just, I was yeah. just being chill. I was just being chill. My turn. All right, let's see what I can do here with all these tokens. I will untap, I will draw a card. My rad counter will trigger. Yes. I will mill one. It's the case of the ransack lab. So I take one and the prof once again pokes me from beyond the grave. I basically broke into your lab and ransacked the joint. Yeah. He knocked over a beaker. <laughs> right? I was like, yeah, I think you're so good at commander. <laughs> all right. I let's forgot see to play my land. Oh well. Activate my wrath. Creatures I control get plus one, plus zero, and gain vigilance until Sick. end of turn. I will go ahead and attack with everything but Wrath, I think. Okay. Um, All right, so I will block everywhere. Eidolon's gonna catch a zombie. Transcendent Envoy is gonna catch Final Iteration. Ariat's gonna catch the large spirit. And Lilithin will catch another zombie. And then before, these zombies are gonna die at the end of combat mm -hmm. because they have decayed. So sure. I'm just gonna use them real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna cast a Secure the Waste for two, uh, which nice. will trigger my guys again. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. get, uh, this is my, not, it's not my second spell per turn, so I get another zombie here with Decayed. Yep. I'm gonna get another Flying Wizard. I tap two of the zombies, because they have Vigilance, two Wrath to draw a card, which will trigger the detective and make another detective. Yep. All of these die, but I have a new zombie. Sure. And then this Clarion Spirit has died. Rip to that one. Uh, we will remember you. And I have another Wizard. And that's it. Oh, is that all? Yeah. For $45. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that my board spells trouble for you, Olivia? We'll see. Okay. A second one? Uh, I'm yeah. gonna say, I'm gonna do it one more time, probably. Okay. Third, how many comes in threes? Yeah, rule of three. <laughs> how many comes in threes? Uh, this deck comes rad? in five dollars. Oh! Slam. I still hit from beyond the grave! <laughs> yeah, That's nobody, nobody cares, though. I care! <laughs> Core spirit dancer. Oh, wait, oh. Uh, I love that card. I'll play an exotic orchard. I will cast parasitic impetus on Ariette. So plus two, plus two, she's goaded, and whenever she attacks, you lose two life, I gain two life. Okay. And you draw a card as well. I do. Yes. I'm sweating. Where are you, 12? I'm at 12. Well, you've got a bunch of friends that will let you live, I think. I love to hear that. Uh, Yeah, because I've got, she's got a, a, a 10 toughness backside, but that's enough. Yeah, I think I got some blockers here. So I'm going to move to combat. Move to my second main. <laughs> Move to the end step and concede. <laughs> Good game. Good game. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Thanks for joining Good us game. on this one. Good games. Good, Good games. games. Good games. Raph got his revenge. All of these decks are $45. Can I yes. say, like, all joking aside, just as a question to everyone at the table, do you really think that $45 or a spending limit like that really does make for a, a great commander experience? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. You can pick up any one of these decks for 45 bucks or so. Check out our Build Your Own Precon series. Yeah. I think it does feel like a genuine precon experience. Yeah. 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 Or build your own. <laughs> so am I supposed to say my line at some point? What's your line? So how do you like them apples? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you, but you lost. <laughs> so actually, uh, actually, Jesse, okay. Jesse should should say to you, oh, yeah. how do you like I'm them apples? I'm just curious, how do you like the apples? I mean, you didn't build a deck. You're okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Was it the turn one soul ring? Didn't really do me that much good. That's why I, everyone came at me, because of a turn one soul ring. Should we just ban soul ring? Let me know in the comments if we should ban soul ring. Should be banned. We'll unban the moxen. They are less powerful than soul ring. I'd say something salty about Prof, but he lost first and it's too easy. Like defacing an ancient stone wall with petroglyphs. I started this game saying I was going for frags. And I got one, I got Brian. And you know what? I got a second one too, because I fragged myself and I'm counting it. I, I basically took myself out and that's a win. I got two frags. <laughs> I was bummed I didn't get to take uh, Prof off the board this time around. Um, it, it's, you know, one of the main joys of coming out here is getting the chance to, you know, every single time he gets sort of indignant in a new way and it's really beautiful to watch. Um, this time I just had to be a spectator to that, but that's okay. Uh, feels good to avenge my poor uh, other Raph's death uh, and come away with a, a sweet win that spelled trouble for my opponents. Nächstes Mal bei Shuffle Up and Play. 
I can't remember what we're doing today because what we're doing today is playing Forgetful Fish. The format is formally named Forgetful Fish, but this is informally called Dan Dan. I always thought Dan Dan were the boats. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, this is Dan and that's Dan as well. Yeah, yeah, yes. exactly. With the, Dan. the core conceit is that we both share a deck. We'll go to combat right away. So I'm going to yes. swing with Dan Dan. In the I zone. will take uh, the Whoa. first damage. So I will roof a room for one of these. Basically, it's a blue mage's dream. I'm going to cast Chart a Course. I would like to respond. I would like to crack this fetch land. In response, brainstorm. In response, <laughs> Narset's reversal. In response, <laughs> this is so good. Dan Dan rules. <laughs> <laughs>